blood drive. So come donate blood, save a few lives. It could be you one day that needs the blood. This is why we're here. First step is to measure your weight. Okay, go no, for no, no. it. Okay, we, okay, we want to see how much you weigh. <laughs> but this is not a Yeah, it has an error, so we subtract. It's okay, we can. Yeah, you could. Yeah. So next thing is to fill the foams. Yes, thank you. Oh, a lot has been filled, huh? Mm -hmm. right. Brother, yours is what color? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sing for me, I, I dance for you. Tari sara harat sab jaanu me chudri. Na 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 na. My name is Ray. I'm here at uh, Kenya. Blood. I'm here at Kenya National Blood Transfusion Service. We are here to donate blood, and uh, you should normally do this because it uh, helps save lives, and uh, it even helps in circulation. Your blood have different places where you can donate blood. So kindly just make sure you donate your blood. Uh, it's it's a it's a good thing. To yeah. save blood. So this uh, problem of blood is globally. It's not Kenya alone. Not mm. Kenyans alone are not donating. Mm. Even if it, what since which age you have been donating blood? Seventeen years. 17 years. Since seventeen. And how old are you now? I'm foot, I'm fifty. I'm turning fifty nine in wow. December. How you many times like is that? Have, how many how times have you donated? donated? Seventy one. Yeah. Seventy one times. Yeah, if you Google, you'll see. Yeah, that's amazing, Aisha. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like. Inspiration to all the youth out there, you know. So what yeah. What makes you donate blood? Like I know I'm saving somebody's life. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It's the easiest life ever seen. Yeah, it's just yeah. eating blood. And you know, as uh, before when I was doing, mm -hmm. I was doing as my own, my personal. Mm -hmm. Because between me and you know, sometimes you want to give out uh, what we call, uh, you want to give out something. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to give out money. Genuine. I don't yeah. have money. Yeah, I give Genuinely. out blood. Oh. Just want to. I've been doing that. Yeah. That's yes. So just 2016 is when uh, the, I was called from the, the Kenya National Blood Transfusion mm -hmm. telling me they've realized that time I had donated 58. Okay. 58. That was 2016. Now I mean, you have donated for 71 times. And now that's one. almost 20, that's like 15 times almost. So in a year I assume you do like about 3 or three, 4 times. Three. What message would you like to give everybody about donating All the blood? the out there and everybody. Why, would they, why should they do it? Me normally, I, I like to give message to my fellow women. You know, we are the most caregivers. Mm. We, we see our, our children dying, our sisters dying, our brothers dying, our parents dying, our husbands dying. So, tears can never save life. But when you donate blood, blood saves. That's amazing. That's amazing. It is. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's really. Normally, I, I like saying that because yeah. it's true. You know, when you when you see somebody sick mm -hmm. crying, mm -hmm. it doesn't help. Yeah. But if you have donated blood, because we see we are losing lives because of no blood, of mm -hmm. and also sometimes like now we are having the relative donor. Mm -hmm. Relative donor is when you are having a patient. You look for relatives to donate. Mm. So by the time the blood reaches the patient, we lose lives and we lose blood yeah. because yeah. it's late. Yeah, it yeah. takes a lot of time. Yeah. They, they cannot find. So mm. I normally stay even for three hours to make sure I donate. Yeah. Because That's... I feel there's somebody who is in need of that blood, mm. and I have the, they have to get the the the, 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 the vein. Yeah. So, you know they've known me for a while, so yeah. sometimes they say, "No, let us pray. We do a prayer, yeah. then we get the pain and wow. we donate." So I feel so bad when I, I cannot donate because mm -hmm. of the pain. So there's a time we were doing some guidelines on the Ministry of Health. I said, "These the these the clinicians, the nurses, they should go for refresh, refresh courses for mm -hmm. them to know how they can how find, find another the easier. because they've come from college." They, they don't. They, it, it is what they've learned, but they should mm. go and learn more mm. how to get the, the vein. Because I wouldn't 
want, I come, I want to donate, then my bank would not be seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very sad reason to go home without yeah. donating. Yeah. Blood, in fact, they in find fact the there way. was a time. There was a time. Uh, there was a lady who was. She's a cancer patient. She wanted blood. So I had it over the radio. So I went to the hospital. You know, I could not donate because nobody could get my vein. Mm -hmm. And it was during Ramadan. So I had to break my fast. Oh, just to donate? Just oh, to donate. That's God doesn't mind. Amazing. Right? You're saving life. Yeah, but I tell you. So I had to go the next day. Mm -hmm. There was somebody, I was told she was an expert. Mm -hmm. And she got the vein. Mm. So you can imagine, it's really yeah. very critical. Yeah, it's very critical. How is your food diet like since you donate a lot of blood? Just normal. Normal ugali. Vegetable, vegetables, fruits, and too much water. So much of water. Hi, my name is Ravi, and I'm from Malaysia. Right now, I'm in Nairobi in the village uh, market. And then I was just passing by, and then I saw this uh, Kenyan National Blood Transfusion Service. So we decided to donate our blood. So the reason is uh, each and every moment there requires a blood donor. And then every 10 minutes there is at least a patient who needs the blood. And in a whole day at least about a thousand of patients who need blood. And the patients includes a uh, mother with newborn babies, uh, like pregnant women, accident patient, cancer and also kidney patient. So, since the blood can't be made or manufactured, I really suggest that you guys donate your blood so it can really save life. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Ravi. Was it a painful process or was it painless? It was very painless, you know. I'm a tough guy. <laughs> no, but actually, it's, it's really painless and it doesn't cause you any harm at all. Alright, thank, thank you so you. much for coming.